Hi there everybody and welcome to one of my other videos. Um, in this video I'm going to show you the location of the fuses for this uh, Ford Galaxy. This is a 2014 and according to the manual there are three fuse boxes um, in the engine compartment, in central fuse box, this is under the glove box, um, this is here in the UK. Um, you will find it. We need to turn the little, this little um, knob, ninety degrees, and then the the box will come out. So we'll have a look at that, and then we have the rear fuse box as well. Um, and here is uh, the layout of the fuses, basically, and the numbers, as well as. A list for what they are for and uh, it shows you the rating as well and uh, obviously the, the circuit that is protected these are the ones under the engine it's quite a big list here Some uh, fuses here um, seem to be repetitive, but uh, it's just that they cover the, the system. Um, so all these systems will be, will relate, could relate to that uh, particular fuse. And the list continues here. some more so if you need to look up at a specific fuse um, you need your manual uh, if you haven't got it then you can pause the video and have a look hopefully the image is not too shaky here and that's the end of the fuses and the engine bay now the central fuse box Again, we have all the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. Um, now it looks like there's two, two types, so A and B. A is for left-hand drive and B is for right-hand drive. Uh, this is a right-hand drive vehicle, so we could refer to the B fuse box. And then obviously, the list, ampere rating, and the circuit protection. I don't have access to these uh, vehicles often after the video, so I won't be able to look at the manual myself. And this is the rear fuse box here. Again, just a layout fuses and some relays as well. They all have some relays. Um, all these fuse boxes will have some relays. So that's the, the list for the fuses at the back. And then we have all obviously our warnings here. Um, usually have the ignition off and so on. Uh, if you're gonna remove a fuse, uh, fit a replacement fuse with the same rating as the one you have removed. Do not modify the electrical system of your vehicle in any way. Have repairs uh, to the electrical system and the replacement of relays and high current fuses carried out by properly trained technicians. So yes, in some cases, um, it could be a simple fuse for a radio, something that you can change. 
in other cases it could be a little bit more um, involved and you don't want to do any further damage so let's have a look at the fuses in the actual car um, this is the one we're looking at the galaxy which is that one there but I guess that covers the S Max as well. Okay, so get the bonnet open. And if we look here on the right hand side, we have this box. There's a little drawing of a fuse there. And we need to get this open. It's just a little clip here. If you push it to one side, that will open. And there's another one at the back. So at the back, there is another clip that you just need to push back to release the box. And this one here, obviously, just push it to the side. And then it will slide out from this hooks. And that's where the fuses are, and that's where the relays. And so you just need to look at the layout of this to find the fuses that um, you need. So look at the layout, um, and then now uh, the fuses, um, you will see that they are also numbered. So we got F1, F2, F6, F7 in there, and then uh, relays R1, and so on. Our fuse box under the engine bay. Now let's have a look at the one under the under the dash here. If we look down here, basically we need to remove. Um, just take these plastic clips out. There's uh, two of them. There's another one somewhere here. And then you can lower this cover. Then we need to um, open this little key here. All right, so that was a bit loose. You just need to turn that and that will release the box. And that's where the fuses are, basically. So again, just need to refer to your manual to get um, To get the fuses there but um you got these ones here and then you have the ones at the top there and uh last but not least we'll have a look at the fuses at the back here so this is the back of the car get the um rear latch open and get this little um, thing out of the way just get it open and that's where the fuses are and if you press on these things you can remove those you just need to press them to release that's where the fuses are again same with this just press on the sides and that will release and then there's your fuses there's another one here same idea got some relays as well and then just push those in and they, they should clip on 
Sealy. And um, that's pretty much it. Um, so you might find that not all the holes are filled with the fuses. Um, and that's just because if you haven't got all the extras in the car, then you don't need the fuses that are in certain um, in certain positions there. So you, you won't have all the fuses in there. Um, so hope everybody's keeping safe. Um, and thank you for watching my videos. Um, hope you do subscribe. Bye-bye. Uh,